So we finished the dessert lizard. We have a surprise. Two new animals here. The bull shark, it's a, one of the predators that live in oceans or maybe the sea. And here the panther chameleon. Let's start with the panther chameleon. Say hello to the best one in making camouflage ever. The panther chameleon, one of the lizards, or maybe kind of lizards, it's a kind of reptiles, has the ability to take the color of any surrounding environment just like this in few seconds. It makes an amazing camouflage. It takes the color within seconds. It has the ability to change the color of their scales to the color of the surrounding environment just by standing on any place takes the color it makes itself really like the ghost you cannot see it and also it blends itself within the trees by the colorful scales so it makes the vision of any animal to see it really hard it's not easy at all to see the panther chameleon The amazing thing here, it's not just taking the color of the surrounding environment, but the most amazing thing here, taking more than one color in the same second. Take a look here. How adorable is this? It takes more than one color in the same second. Definitely, it's the best one in making camouflage. It's really hard to see the panther chameleon in the surrounding environment. So, um, can we find the structural and the behavioral adaptation of the panther chameleon easily? Let's try. Here we go. It has long tail. Easy. Structural adaptation. Why? Give me a reason. The long tail is a structural adaptation because it's part of the body. Amazing. <laughs> so, uh, it helps the panther chameleon to hold the branches of the tree and balance. They have this shape of feet. They have V-shaped feet. V-shaped feet means like the letter V in English. Let's take a look on the feet here and make zoom. We can find them V-shaped feet. It helps the panther. We can find them V-shaped feet. It helps the panther chameleon to balance itself on the branches of the tree and hold them hard. So is the V-shaped feet structural or behavioral adaptation? It's a structural adaptation because it's a part of the body. Amazing. Let's find another structural adaptation here. One of the most amazing thing about panther chameleon, it has the ability to move each eye independently without link actually between both of them in the motion. It has the ability to move each eye in a different place. Definitely, you cannot do this. The panther chameleon can do it easily. So it helps the panther chameleon to see the area around, to see everything around. So are the eyes of the panther chameleon structural or behavioral adaptation? The eyes themselves. Amazing. The eyes are structural adaptation. Okay. But moving each one of them in two different directions, that's an action that's a behavioral adaptation the eyes are structural but moving them in two different directions that's an action that's the behavior here we go don't be afraid <laughs> one of the really most interesting things in the panther chameleon this tongue it has very long tongue and strong at the same time long and a sticky tongue it uses it to catch the insects okay just like this it uses the long tongue to catch the insect easily so is this part of the body or action or maybe part in the environment you can catch it easily right now it's a part of the body so it's a structural adaptation i'm gonna ask you a tricky question right now when the panther chameleon is exposed to danger, 
I know they are trying to change their color and so on. We have seen this in the previous videos. But here are some steps, some actions the Panther Chameleon is doing them. Number one, look here. It puffs up its body. Puffs up the sword means make the body bigger in size. How that can happen? It puffs up the body by opening the mouth widely like this. It opens the mouth widely and puffs up the body. That's a kind of trying to scare the enemy. So the panther chameleon in this moment is trying to scare the enemy. To make them afraid. Mm, I'm a predator here. So that's a kind of actions. The panther chameleon is trying to scare the enemy. It puffs up the body. It opens the mouth widely. Are these structural adaptations? No. That's totally behavioral adaptation. Because all of these are actions. Opening, opening the mouth, puffing up the body, scaring the enemies. Actions. And it changes the color to hide. Changes the color of their body. Changes the color. So also this is an action. So the behavioral adaptation is represented here by puffing up the body. Opening the mouth changes the color to imitate the situation. To try to scare the enemy. Don't be scared. You are not an enemy. The line here is sleeping. I don't want to wake it up.